Hey guys, Nate here. First, a huge thank you for purchasing eChrome. Your purchase means that I can continue to develop on this site and make new presets and release all kinds of good free stuff. So I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to show you really quickly how to get up and running and get eChrome installed for Lightroom. So right after you have put in your payment information, you should have seen a little button here to download. And um, if you're already past the screen, that's fine. You'll get an email uh, from Gumroad that will have a download button. When you click on download, it should take you to this page that will automatically start the download of eChrome. And it's downloading as a zip file. So as soon as that's done, you'll wanna go over into your downloads folder, wherever that may be, and see the zip file. I'm just gonna double click on it and it will open up. So inside of this zip file, we have a couple of different things. We have all those good custom camera profiles right here. We have uh, the settings to use in Adobe Camera Raw, which you can use in Photoshop or Adobe Bridge right here. And then we have all the Lightroom presets in here, both the eChrome presets and the Film Toolkit presets. So the fastest thing to do is if you have a Mac, all you have to do is double click on this Mac installer. And so I'm gonna double click. Now, depending on your security settings, a warning may pop up that just says, hey, we don't know who this developer is, and that's fine, you can click OK. What you'll have to do is right click or control click and click open. And when that happens, it'll ask you, are you sure you wanna run this? Yes, you wanna run it, so I'm gonna open it. Oh, sometimes you may have to, oh, there we go. So just like that, it's already done. It's added the custom camera profiles, the Lightroom presets, and the Adobe Camera Raw settings. So all you have to do now is restart Lightroom and enjoy. So I've already done that. I'm gonna pop over into Lightroom and you can see right here I've got, I've got my eChrome and I've got my film toolkit. And if I try, if I try one of these, I can come over here to my camera profile section and sh see that in fact the camera profile is Nate Cam. So now if you have Windows or for some reason that's not working on your Mac, you can come back into the downloads folder into your eChrome uh, folder and double click on the installation. Oh, I already have that open. And it'll basically show you how to do it manually. You have all the pieces you need in the folders themselves, and it's just a matter of getting them into the place where um, Lightroom is looking for them. So just to show you an example with Windows, the first step is you need to copy the folders within the Lightroom presets to the following location. So you would need to open up this location in another window and come back over here and you can see, okay, the Lightroom presets has these two folders. You can just take these folders and then copy them over to this location. The next step is to copy the files within the ACR settings folder to the following location. So we're gonna come over here to the ACR settings. You'll wanna take all of these. For some reason uh, with ACR, you can't just take the whole folder. It has to be just the files. So take just these files and you'll wanna copy them and move them into this folder. And then finally, you need to do the same thing with the custom camera profiles. So you wanna take this whole folder and copy it to this location. Um, with a Mac, if you need to do it manually, it's essentially the same. It, the, the folder locations are just different. Um, so I have the folder locations in here and um, you can either go to them directly or inside of Lightroom. There's a couple different things you can do. One thing you can do is go to Preferences and then in Presets up here, click the Show Lightroom Presets folder. So it's opened up that full, it's opened up the Lightroom Settings folder. So I can see Library, Application Support, Adobe, Lightroom. And then I can just put the presets in the Develop Presets folder 
and then I would put the camera raw settings into camera raw camera profiles and put them there. So that's it. Just remember to whatever you whatever you uh, add or take away from uh, pre, uh, the development folders, you'll need to close Lightroom and restart it to make sure that they're showing up over in the preset pane over here in the left as we're developing. That's it for now. If you have any questions, let me know. Or if you have any issues, you can send me an email and I will help you out. Thanks so much.